Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday. Um, I never know what to talk about when nobody's here. It's the weirdest thing to talk to no one. <laughs> I relish your creativity. Great name. Hi, Irma. How are you? On your way to Germany. That's so exciting. Hi, Deb. Good morning, Ellen. How's everyone doing? Hi, Carol Ann. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Allie. <clears throat> Good morning, Anita. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a long time. Everybody's here. Oh, it makes me feel good. I have just been having a crazy week. Um, as you probably know from my emails. At... Good morning, Martha. I'm launching um, Art and Bloom again. And oh, my gosh, I cannot tell you how exhausting it is to do that. It looks easy from the outside. At least it did to me when I thought I was going to do it. <laughs> now that I'm even my third time around, it's like, I don't know what I was thinking. This might be the last time I do this. Um, Joyful Everything. I love that name. So Art and Bloom, for any of you who don't know about it, is my online floral oil painting course. There are six different modules that get released once a week for six weeks starting on September 30th. And it is... Oh, good. I'm glad you're here. Um, it is a beautiful course that um, my college friend helped me create. And it's just, I love, love, love it. So if any of you want to learn more about how I create my art, um, definitely um, check it out. Um, I can't imagine that you haven't gotten emails from me. But if you want to know more about it and you haven't heard from me, just um, send me your email and I'll send you the information. Um, and I'll probably have it here in my story too. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lori. Um, <coughs> oh, thanks, Gabby. Yeah, I really, it's a it's beautiful class. It's fun, you learn so much and I'm excited to do it. Hi, Ellen. And there was something else I was gonna say. Oh, registration closes tomorrow night at, um, it closes tomorrow night at midnight. And so someone had asked me about why they couldn't just start it right away. And because the way I do it, some people like to work through the whole class together. So a different module comes out each week for six different weeks and then everybody works on their paintings and shares them. And then I do a little follow up live on Facebook and go a little bit more in depth on some, some things like warm and cool colors and color mixing and fun stuff like that. Hi, Susie from Ohio. I don't know if Siri was misunderstanding me. Anyway, so let's get on with the fun part here. I, um, let me see, I was gonna paint grapes this morning and then I changed my mind and I wanna do peony. So let me turn this around. <clears throat> um, and I don't know what it is. I think it's a little bit, I have a little bit of, um, I feel like I've been working so hard that I need to play a little bit. And not that this is play, it's a little bit more of a serious kind of color palette, but it's a different color palette for me. So I consider that play. If I'm going a little bit out of my comfort zone or doing something a little bit different, I just love the soft muted tones. And I want to still let some really bright colors pop through, but keep it kind of muted otherwise. Um, that's always how I learn is, is by, you know, doing things that are different. Um, and I, I, you know, like all of us artists, I think we get bored very quickly with things we work on. You always have to change it up. Oh, that's true, Allie. It is nice for the fall. I didn't even think about that. Good morning, Emily. Okay. Um, and remind me, I want to tell you about my, um, um, Indian yellow too. I'm almost out of, I need to prepare more of my panels too. I'm running out of uh, everything, everything. And I've been moving my office out and that's been crazy. It's just been crazy times. Everything seems to be changing. I love the color of these too. I love this soft. I want to buy and grow some of my own peonies. I have one peony plant. That's not nearly enough. Good morning, Leslie. Not nearly enough for me. So some of you might have joined us. I was doing a cone flower workshop too. And we, I had a group come on and paint with me last night. And uh, we finished them up this evening. So my palette looks a little bit different because I have that. Hi, Judy. How are you? I 
finishing up the summer. Are you still at the beach? And I actually pulled out pulled out a few colors that I don't normally use too, which I love. I love your little smiley. I love um, playing with different colors. <clears throat> so I'm just putting down transparent colors now. Me most of the time at the beach. That's so nice. I didn't make it there this year, Judy. Hopefully next year. Things will get back a little bit to normal. They started to feel normal, didn't they? Christina says, love watching you each Wednesday as I start my day. Thank you. Do you have water on the canvas? Um... No, Marsha, it's it's a this my canvas right now is Arches oil paper, which I've been loving painting on. I just love the texture of it. But I just use a little bit of this. It's called Zest It Clear Painting Medium. I just dab a little bit on my brush to make my paints wet and then go right on to the panel with it. That's what gives it kind of that wet look though. I love that it kind of looks like watercolors a little bit. Watercolors are always one of my True uh, painting loves. <clears throat> oh, you're welcome. So what's new with everybody? Anything new and fun going on? <coughs> Excuse me. We've just been having crazy times moving. I moved my office out this past weekend and moved stuff to my son's in Baltimore. And um, <clears throat> had a big crap party with my family. It was the first time we were all together since COVID. So that went late because we all hadn't seen each other in so long. It was very fun, but we still haven't cleaned all that up yet. <laughs> we still have to do all that. Cleaning up. Having parties is fun, but cleaning up after them is not fun. Leslie said, are you changing out brushes when you change from yellow to blue? No, I am just cleaning it off. I have a paper towel here, and I just clean it off. So I have I try to only use one at two tops. This is my favorite brush. Rosemary Company Clip Short Flat Number 12. <clears throat> it's a pretty big brush. See how big it is compared to what I'm doing. And I still have glare on there, don't I? Let me make this light. <clears throat> Um, is that better? It's probably better. It's a little darker, but not as much glare. <clears throat> so I just clean it off with my paper towel because I'm a little lazy. I don't like to do too much um, uh, brush cleaning at the end because usually I'm off to work right away and I try to have as little, make this as easy as possible. My chores. <clears throat> I sort of like it just the way it is. It's pretty fun, isn't it? Oh, my painting surface today is six by eight. And if you guys ask me questions and I miss them, just let me know. Sometimes it's hard to read and 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 talk and paint. So I'm getting better at it. I do want to have this have a little bit more pop of bright color than I'm not gonna. And the, the, I'm not going to put that line in there. That's not helping anything. Thanks, Ellen. They are pretty, aren't they? Um. <clears throat> oh, it looks, <laughs> thank you. Um, Leslie says, what is the dark? This is um, um, French ultramarine blue. 
is the dark one. And did I go to art school? Marsha, I went for graphic design. I went to Kutztown University that's in Pennsylvania. So I have a graphic design business I've had for like 30 some years. <clears throat> and um, I always loved that in the beginning when, you know, back in, the, it was in the 80s, everything was hands-on so I got to do illustrations and all kinds of fun things and then as everything's on the computer now I really missed um, creating with my hands so that's when I started when my daughter my youngest was like I think she was 10 I started getting up in the morning every day to paint because I missed just creating with my hands and never turned back I still get up every morning and paint <clears throat> such a great way to get up and start the day because when I wake up and think oh I gotta get out of bed and I'm like oh what am I gonna paint today a lot of times I don't think about even what I'm gonna do until I'm up and rolling sometimes I'll decide the night before but mostly not it's a little dark in there it's really fun like that, isn't it? I love when it just looks like a watercolor painting. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit more of this blue in here, I think. I think that's a really nice start. <clears throat> I'm putting my medium away. I'm not going to use that anymore. And I'm going to clean up my palette. <clears throat> so what's everybody having today? Coffee or tea? I need a sip of my coffee. Clean my palette. And now I'm going to use my pigment sticks. I put them away. <clears throat> coffee. Oh, I love the little coffee icon. <clears throat> I always want to make my own gifts or gifs. Gifts, I think they're called gifs. Um, I did like download an app where you can do it yourself. I should make our, a little Wednesday morning gif. Wouldn't that be fun? <clears throat> Chocolate mint tea. Oh, that sounds really good. <clears throat> Real gray tea. Diet Coke. That's what my Susie, that's what my husband drinks all the time. Diet Coke is his treat all day long. Dark roast coffee with raw sugar, my vice. Ooh, that sounds really good. Martha, I'm having my fat cow coffee. My friend Martha is one here watching, I think. And I get <clears throat> she has a coffee company. Fat cow coffee roasters, and that's what I'm having. Super fun, isn't it? Okay. Do my little, feels like Monday. You're off. Weren't, weren't you having, Laura, weren't you having electricity problems or something? I'll see you at Rittenhouse. So uh, Laura and I will both be at the Rittenhouse Square um, Outdoor Fine Art Show in another two two weeks? A week? No, it's a week from this week. It's a week from tomorrow we set up, right? Well, <clears throat> I'm not ready. I don't know if I'll ever be ready. Okay, I think that's good. I'm just going to do that. Oh, you know, where's my little, like, oh, I like this little light color. Coffee. Anita's having coffee. Next. Paint coffee. Next time, paint coffee. Oh, <laughs> I never painted coffee. That could be fun, right? I have so many things I always want to paint. Like I have pictures of um, silverware that I'd like to play with because I love the reflections on it. Like whenever I see things that inspire me, I take photos. But I still have yet to figure out how to organize the photos in my phone, which is a really bad thing. All right. I think I'm going to stop with that. <clears throat> Thank you. Late to the party. Good morning. Hi, Helen. All right, now I'm going to... Um...
um, turn this down and mix some colors. I need to think about what I need. So do you do sunsets? I would like to. I don't do a lot of landscapes. I That's ne kind of next on my list, I think. Here's one that I've been working. Oops, knocking things off my, here's one that I've been, been working on. <clears throat> I've been playing around with putting like transparent layers and um, it's hard to see it in the light and playing with clouds. Um, so I can't say that I do, do, I have, oh, you know what I do? My one friend has a sunset that I did with a palette knife painting and it turned out really neat. <clears throat> okay. I was looking through your feed last night. Your ornaments are, you need to do one of those live. Well, I could do that, but they actually take me longer. Like I couldn't, I don't think I could. Well, maybe I could, Michael. I could do that. I think I could do a small one in an hour. So, you know, this cuts me off if I don't finish in an hour. Yeah, it takes so thousands of photos, and I don't even know where to begin. I don't quite understand. I think the whole thing of organ, and even on my iPad, I have way too many, and I don't like that when you organize them, they're still in the main place, and they're also in the folder, and then how do you know if they're all in the folder? Then I feel like I have twice as many photos. Judy said, I put my photo in albums with subject lines, flowers, and boats. Yeah. Oh, I wish I was an organized person. I'm always trying. I'll never stop trying to be organized. Love a little bit of that color in there. So I'm going to hold on to that. And I want to, um, I'm going to put out, I put this gold ochre out today. It's really nice. Um, add a little bit more in there. This gold ochre's got a little grit to it. Can you hear that as I'm mixing it up? I don't like or dislike it. It just feels different. <clears throat> I need to make that a little bit more yellow, I think. It's a pretty color. <laughs> yeah, most artists aren't organized, I know. I don't know why that is. I'll always try to be. Yeah, I can organize colors onto a palette or onto a painting. Why can't I organize anything else? Not even my closet. That's too much purple. <clears throat> Perfect peach. So these are, I have out some fun colors because I wanted to play today a little bit. So this is, I love this, Montserrat Orange and Titanium Buff. And I have a little bit of that permanent rose in there too. See if this looks like um yeah that's pretty good yeah they're kind of it's a little bit of a different color palette for me which I love I think I needed to um <clears throat> have mixed a little bit more of that is that too too purple I'm gonna add a little bit of um Indian yellow in there Oh, yeah, that's definitely in there. That's a cool color, too. Oh, Indian yellow, Anita, that's right. I was going to say, so one of the things, when I do a class, and I was doing it last night, I have Indian yellow in my palette because I really love Indian yellow. There it is. But I use um, this Winsor Newton Indian yellow because it's it's less expensive and it all matches. But this Vasari Indian yellow is just amazing. So... Like it, when you order from Vasari, you have to get like $100 worth in the first pop. So that's why I don't ever have it on my class list. But as a little hint, 
And if you do a lot with Indian yellow, this is a fabulous color. And I also love their, um, I love their whites are creamier and I love, you know, I use this color a lot too. This video blue extra pale. What is this you're using to paint on a board? You mean this or what am I painting on my palette? It's a piece of Arches oil paper that I'm painting on and I'm mixing on, this is just a piece of marble from the countertop store. Oh, does she use that, Judy? It really is a, a neat color that it's hard to mix otherwise. I love Indian yellow. It is so versatile. I do use a lot, a lot of Indian yellow. Yes, I love watching Mary Gilkerson paint skies. I haven't done that for a while. It's usually what I choose to watch um, if I go to bed early. People watch TV shows. I watch people painting. Never get bored of that. It's a nice neutral kind of dark color. Fun. <clears throat> Do you varnish the arches oil paper paintings? Yes, I do, to protect them. I guess you really wouldn't need to if you're gonna frame them under glass. I have, um, I revised, I have a, a surface and framing guide and I just revamped it and added in different ways to frame or mount the um, arches oil paper. Oh, it's fun seeing the colors come, isn't it? What's next to, on? Oh, this, this is another color I got out to play with, Portland Warm Gray, a gambling color. Um, Cause I feel like that's um, very much one of the colors in there. Maybe I'll add a little white to that and see what we got. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Where's the Oh, on my website. I think there's <clears throat> um, a link to it. There might be a link to it here on Instagram in my bio. And I think there's also a link to it at the bottom of the main page of my website. If I remember correctly, that's where I was supposed to put it. And it should have information about um, works on paper because I just finally updated that. And now I need a cool, some kind of a dark color for the background. <clears throat> I don't want it necessarily to be a whole solid color, but it's definitely got <clears throat> put a little brown in there. <clears throat> I use brown more than I realize. When I was doing my um, my painting last night that I was having trouble not having brown. It's funny what colors you go to, and you don't realize you use them that much. Oh, I love that color. I'll keep that a little bit. And then that's blue, so I want to desaturate that a little bit. So I'm going to add some Indian yellow into it. No, I got too green. I don't even like that. I'm cleaning that right off. I'm throwing that away. Not loving it. <clears throat> I think I just had too much of it. This. And if you mix up your colors, like it's really good to mix your colors ahead of time. I don't always do it, but I want to always do it. Um, because like if I look at these colors and they all look cohesive and they look nice together, they're basically gonna look nice on your painting. Plus then if I come from all these piles into my painting, it keeps it more cohesive. Okay, I think that's a good start. So I'm gonna come back up here. The crimping tool, I think I do have a crimping tool. What am I gonna crimp, Deb? I think I have a few. I, have crimp, I can crimp, crimp paper so it looks wavy cleaned out my office and I have 30 some years of art supplies there too which had to come into my studio I found so many fun things but um so I want to try to really take my time and do intentional brush strokes not get ahead of myself
your paint. Oh, yes, I do have that. I just need to do it, right? I have it. Look, how hard can that be? It's right here. I just need to stop and actually use it. It is really a great tool, and it is smart to, to do that because you're you use every last bit of your paint then. Do you decide whether to purchase a special color? Just mix it up. Most colors can be mixed, yes. Um, I would say that you don't need to. When I started painting, I didn't know about using only a few colors. So I have tons of paint. I'll show you over here. This whole entire thing is full of oil paints. So I love to just get them out and play. And look at all these. So I love to just play with them. There are a few colors that like if you use them a lot, like I could probably mix something up like that video blue extra pale that I love, but I use it enough that why mix it every time? I might as well just get it and then I don't have to spend that time. <clears throat> and even like this Montserrat orange, I don't have anything quite like that. So I like to buy some of them. I play with some. I have colors I probably never use. <clears throat> so yeah you know their art supplies are sexy it's hard to 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 just have a few right <clears throat> I love playing yes I love playing with new colors I don't know I think it's a blessing in disguise that arts like I can't even go to an art store right now so it keeps me from buying too many I used to love Laura. I, Laura and I both went to the same college, and I loved, I don't know if it was the same when you were there, hopefully, but they had the best art supplies at the student call bookstore. <clears throat> I loved going in there for art supplies. When I was in school, we used to have to drive. I think we would drive... I can't remember. I think it might have been Dick Blick in Reading is where we would go for art supplies. <clears throat> I had a car at college not to be able to get anywhere mostly except to get go buy art supplies. <laughs> That's what I would still want to do. <laughs> yes, they are like Lay's potato chips. Can't buy just one, right? <clears throat> I'm going to leave the strokes feeling like that. I want this background to be a little neutral. It's good you know how to read the symbols about the transparency since you, yeah, yes, it is good. Yeah, you know, when I started painting, I didn't know any of that. And I always like just played with colors and, and, they, and they usually turned out okay. <clears throat> but you really don't need that that many um that many paints our art stores closed where you are um n no we just don't have any um just like michael's but that's really hardly fun at all you know there aren't we used to have art stores here because there were so many advertising agencies and things here where i live and i don't know i think everyone just buys things online but i'll never be like i need to go in a store to impulse purchase I don't really ever impulse purchase anything online because you don't see the colors oh Marianne I got th this is from um, Karen Jurek's website uh, I love it it's her tabletop easel I, she passed away but I know you can still get them from her website that is such a heartache heartbreak because gosh I loved her art not sure what happened I think she might have had a heart attack young too her art is just amazing so if you guys have never seen it check her out her name's Karen Jura K-A-R-I-N I think J-U-R-I-C-K <clears throat> Oh, I didn't mix up any greens. 
How did that happen? I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I want to do my intentional brush strokes. That is why you need to come to see me. Yes, I do need to, Judy. I'm going to make that happen. I think next year's life's going to get a little more peaceful. What's that famous last words? I shouldn't say that, but I do mean it, so I think it is going to happen. I love, like, these colors that are popping through in there. I want to let it be spontaneous like that. I even love that brown. It's running. I don't know if you can see that. That color is dripping in there a little bit. I love that. <clears throat> Yeah, Judy has a place at the beach, and she's been doing really cool paintings of some of the uh, local restaurants and things, and they're so pretty. I'm sure everyone in your beach town needs to have one of those in their homes. Even just carving out, putting that background in kind of pulls it together, doesn't it? <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do some of my J-U-R-I-C-K, K-A-R-N, that's right, J-U-R-I-C-K. Um. <clears throat> oh, this is, this is a piece of Arches oil paper. is um it's kind of like canvas it's just something I've been enjoying playing with So I love like trying to kind of capture the essence of what I'm painting, but letting it be a little more free form. Oh, Judy, they're peonies. I don't know what kind of peony. Oh, Marsha, I'm, I'm not moving. I just, I had an office that's, oh, this paper. Yes, I did like, I think I like at least three coats of gesso on the Arches oil paper. <clears throat> Um, my business just moved out of the office that we had. Um, but I only live a block away and we're all working from home. I've been mounting it on to, um, do I have one here? I've been mounting them, either framing them or mounting them on to, wait, I just, oh, here, let me grab this. <clears throat> So I mount it onto a wood panel. So it looks like my other mounted one. So it's on a wood panel. I like to leave these edges um, natural. So that's a piece of paper that's mounted on there. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? And then I have it ready to hang. So it's getting them ready for the art show. <clears throat> Do you just let Arches paper paintings lie flat dry? Yes. No, it doesn't buckle. I, I don't know why. But it does not buckle. I've not had any problem with that. I do too. I love the way the arches paper looks. Which is harder, painting a nine by twelve or four by four? Uh, that's a funny question. I would say I don't know. I've just been into my little four by fours lately. I wouldn't necessarily say one or the other is harder. Oh, I just use a, a brush from the craft store, just a cheap brush. <clears throat> oh, I, these are mounted on, I've been mounting them on the um, Trakel boards. Here, I'll grab one. I just unpacked some of these this morning. I was, whoops, I was uh, working on that. They're called Trakel, the raw, 
Baltic birch boards. I don't have all this stuff around me. I'm going to knock it over when I stand up. <clears throat> I've been adhering it with um, matte medium. I put some, I coat my boards with the matte medium, and then I coat the back of my paper and then mount it that way. Um, I think that they put something special in the arches oil paper for oil paint, but Arches also makes a watercolor paper. And I think if I were doing acrylics, that's what I would use. Their <clears throat> watercolor paper. But I don't know why you couldn't actually. All right, so I'm trying to pay attention to not letting it get too, um, Tight. Like I really want these fun, spontaneous colors to show through. Um, I like to keep that bit of whimsy. I, I feel like it's always a little bit of a dance for me. Like I'll do well and I'll keep everything whimsical and light and I'll enjoy it. And then after a while, everything starts to kind of tighten up again. I don't know why that is, but... <clears throat> Oh, it's almost the same, I would say. The watercolor, it's very much like watercolor paper. That's what I love about it. So, yeah, it's not its not very different than watercolor. It's just they put something extra in the fibers so that the oil paints, um, I guess, don't soak into it as much. I'm not sure. Judy, I do it. I have a drawing table. That's one of the things I need to move back to my house, like an old-fashioned drawing table from the 70s. But you could just use, you know, one of those mats and line up your ruler and cut them out. <laughs> Barb, thanks. I could, I could do this all day. It's so fun. But yeah, I just put, I put it on the, on the drawing board and do it. But a um. Because the other day, well, I needed these for this for our Wednesday mornings, and I did these. I just cut them out on uh, on my, you know, the one of those rubber mats. I actually have a rubber mat I used to quilt a long time ago, and I have a mat from that that I use. Have you ever tried water mixed boils? Yes, I have. Um, it's it's not it's not my favorite. Um, although I did do it, my friend Beth. Bath, B-A-T-H-E, she uses the water mixable oils and paints plein air, and her paintings are stunning. So I have done a workshop with her, and I enjoyed that then, but for doing my style of painting, I find that they're very dry. Like, they just have a different feel to them. They're just not quite as sexy or something, and plus they don't have as many colors. I'm all about the color options, you know. But she does her plein air paintings, and I've done, I have one here somewhere that I did with the water mixable oils. And it really did turn out neat. <clears throat> oh, did you get them, Henriette? Do you love them? Have you tried them? Thank you. Oops, I'm sorry. My brush is bumping you guys. Trying to be very intentional and take my time with my brush strokes and not like go in and scrub at it, which is just sort of a natural thing to want to do. <clears throat> oh, you just got the package. You didn't get to dive in yet. You have that to look forward to, right? That's fun. Love unpacking art supplies too.
Okay, what did you say you used to adhere the paper to the board with? Oh, I use um, matte medium. Here, I'll show you. It's, um, do I have one here? Here's one. Let's use this matte medium. So I don't actually use a glue. I did buy one, a glue, but I didn't feel like I needed the glue for it. The matte medium works just fine. Oops, I have too much on there. Oh, all those colors are so fun, aren't they? How far away are you from? Um, I'm just, well, here's my paintbrush, and I am, um, I don't know, maybe that time again, as long as my arm. I have my um, phone is right in between, right in front of me. So I have to kind of look around my phone to see where I'm painting. Hi, Catherine. I'm thinking a little bit about soft and hard edges also as I'm doing this. It's a little bit down here I don't have um, covered. <clears throat> Lovely start to the day. Yes, I agree. I love starting the day this way. I have a little bit of green little bits in here. Getting paper towels, so I keep cleaning my brush. <clears throat> um, I want yellow in here. I think I need yellow. She said, I love watching you paint. You do it while having conversations with us. Yes, it's fun. I really enjoyed this. It's, it was harder in the beginning to do that, to paint and read and think. And when I get quiet, usually I'm holding my breath because I'm more, like working on something that I'm not sure about. Um, but yeah. It, it can be a little challenging to pay attention to all the things. And I do miss things sometimes if you're writing to me and I miss it. It's because I'm thinking or, or I can't quite pay attention to all of it. Do you wax your painting after it's mounted on the panel? Yes, I've been playing around with either waxing it or varnishing it. I've been doing both to kind of get a feel for what I like the most. I think I need a little. This needs to come out here. that. Do you have a solvent? No, it's just a plain dry. Did I study drawing? No, I went to school for graphic design, um, but I had to be able to draw to, to do that. So I, you know, I have always been drawing. Um, I used to love to do drawings and I still would. I just don't really have time. Um, but yes, drawing is, is kind of the base of everything else. So if you can spend time learning to draw, it makes a big difference in how your art turns out. I think sometimes people like to do, like talk about doing abstract because they think it seems like it would be easier because you don't have to worry so much about drawing, but it still is a big part of it. I think it's getting there. It's a little too wild looking. What do you think? Do I need to... Um, I know 
I still need to do a little kiss of fun like there in the middle at the little bit of eye candy in the middle. But I want to keep it this fresh. <clears throat> Thanks, Sheila. What I love most about watching you is your deliberate strokes mesmerizing. Yes, that's the hardest. It is, it is, it is. It's hard to um, be that deliberate and that slow because you just want to keep, like, I don't know what it is. I think it's our, our universe. Like, I want to do everything fast. This is probably the only thing in my life that I don't do fast is paint. It's when I calm down and kind of just enjoy the process and don't worry about time. Enjoying the dance of color. Yes, the dance of color. Were you the one that wrote to me? Someone wrote to me. I think I read it last night and they said something about watching me painting is like, I would, because I, they said I was, my paint strokes looked like they were going to the beat of the music or something like that. And I said, that's because painting is a lot like dancing. Not too big of a mark now. All right, now I feel like I'm over fussing it. So now let me think about what I want to do there in that center part. And also I want to push this. I see this needs to go back a little bit right here. I need to push that back. Joanne, I was painting here on, um, or on Facebook. I was doing a, um, a lesson in um, doing a coneflower demo, a little um, paid workshop. It was kind of a teaser to introduce my Art and Bloom course that I have coming out. I'm surprised you didn't see anything about it. I feel like it was everywhere. I did some like Facebook advertising for it and now I feel like it it was everywhere. Like too much. <laughs> and I want to let all those bright colors show. I need a sip of my coffee. I'm looking at it, evaluating. <clears throat> I like the way this is. I feel like this, I don't have enough, like, darks. I think this needs to, oops, I'm bumping you, go back a little bit in color. And I feel like it's a little too bright. And like I could paint this 12 times and it would look different each time I painted it and I would never get bored. That's the other crazy thing about creating art is that like each time you do it, you learn something new and you get something kind of new and different out of it. Now, does your eye go down here too much to that? I feel like it does a little bit. So I'm going to I'm gonna um, kind of take that down a little bit in color from, in saturation maybe. I feel like my eye keeps drifting there instead of at the... <coughs> Marianne, I coat it with a few coats of gesso. That's all I do. Oops, I have green paint on my brush. I'm cleaning it off with my paper towel. So if any of you want to know anything about my Art and Bloom course that's um, open for enrollment, you can get that information through the link in my bio here on, on Instagram. And if you can't find it, just let me know. I can help you out with it. <clears throat> I'm excited for it to start. I don't like the marketing of it, but I do love the process of when, when it comes out. And um, 
too too bright too white. Maybe I'll just knock that back a little bit. It's just that little splash in there so that your eye kind of gets drawn into a little sexy center in there. What do you guys think? I think this needs to go back just a little bit here. That helped pull that other part forward a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm trying to think about the dance of the, the push and the pull, the pushing things back, pulling things forward. It's always kind of a dance between edges and values and um, um, I don't know what my other word is. I can't think. I'm thinking too hard. No, thank you, Anita. All right. I think I'm good. No, wait, maybe just one more little. Yeah, it needed that. It needed that to be a little bit enclosed kind of space there. All right, now I'm fussing with it. So I'm going to sign it. Oh, I see there's a little bit of white showing. I try to go a little bit. Yep, you're right, Leslie. I felt the same way. When my mind, like my mind was wandering, I was trying to tell you something and I couldn't even think of it because my mind was thinking about other things. So that means it's time to stop. My signature. Should I do the tape reveal? Do you want me to do that? Love that part. No, wait, let me put that behind me and pull the tape off because it is only 8.53. So that's fun. So I achieved what I wanted. I wanted it to kind of have the spontaneity of those colors. I wanted it to have things that kind of glow and pop through there of the, of the transparency and sort of kind of have my spin on it. Oh, good, Joanne. Oh, I'm so glad you're joining us. So um, we're moving. I'm <laughs> sitting on my iPad. I'm always sitting on everything. I have it all behind me. I'm like my paper towels are back there. Craziness. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. And and um, we'll do it again next week. And yes, if you're, if you're interested in Art and Bloom or want to know more about it, just let me know. You can send me a message or find it in my link in my bio. <clears throat> Thank you. So now I'm going to take this and I go outside and I'm going to photograph it and put it in... Um, Photoshop and stretch it a little bit just so that it's straight because you know when you photograph something it's a little wonky so then I do that and then I'll post it so yeah that's always the next part of my day before I roll into the real work part of it good Kayla all right see you guys bye Irma have a safe trip to Germany are you already there oh this is a painting that I'm working on for Rittenhouse Square for the fine art show it's a big I think it's 36 by 36 peonies it's fun. I kind of tried to keep the background really soft and muted and then to make these kind of pop. So it was really fun. Goodbye to Australia. So bye guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll post this on, it'll be linked on my website and my blog. And I'll also put it, um, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. And if you go there, be sure to like it 
and subscribe to my channel. And um, I think there's a little bell next to, if you subscribe on YouTube, there's a little bell there. And if you click that, then you get notified when I upload a new, new um, video. No, that's oil too. I haven't done a big acrylic for a while. I've only done a few large acrylics and I love them. One of these days when I have more time, I'm gonna do more of them. So fun. So bye guys, see you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.